Hello everyone, welcome back to my animation tutorial. And this is episode... I should really check these before I record. I think it's episode 10. Let me check right now, actually. Oh, it's episode 9, actually. Alright, episode 9. Uh, What are we going to do today? Today, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do overlapping body parts. I know I haven't done a fighting animation tutorial yet. Uh, That one's going to come soon. This one is just, you know, uh, a little tip, I guess, to help you if you are animating fighting scenes. I should do one soon. I might do one. Uh, I, I just got to figure out what I want to do with it. But, yeah. Now, for, for now, I'm going to teach you guys how to do overlapping body parts. So, say if you have... Well, if you look here, you can see I have Iron Man and Captain America, right? The Iron Man layer is under the Captain America layer. But say if you want only Captain America's arm to be above... No, say if you want Iron Man's arm to be above Captain America, right? Uh, actually, let me show you guys. So, let's go on frame 1, actually. You can do these with your characters. I'm just using uh, Cap and Iron Man for mine. So, on frame 1, manipulate bones tool. Captain America, I'm going to slide him over here a little bit. And Iron Man, I'm going to slide him over here. And I, I'm actually going to flip him. I don't think I've ever taught you guys about flipping when you're animating. So, if you want to, like, flip a character to make him face the other way, uh, when you're on your character bone character's bone layer, come over here to the Transform Layer tool, and right up here, by Show Path, you can see these two flip uh, switches, I guess. I guess switches is what you would call them. But you can flip it horizontally or vertically. Flip it horizontally to make him you know flip and face the other direction and we can move them over again so yeah if you want to flip them go to the layer transform layer tool flip horizontally that's basically what you want to do and now they're facing each other okay so what I was saying is you you see how Iron Man is on the bottom layer well, he's under Captain America. Let me move him closer a little bit. Let's say I want him to uh, punch Captain America, but miss. But I want his arm to be above Cap. But since Iron Man is actually under the Captain America layer, his arm is always going to be under him. But I wanted his arm to be above him. So if you want to do that, what you're going to want to do is on layer on frame one you can do it on frame zero too but uh it's kind of different i think i'll show you guys that later but go to the layer who you want to be overlapping the other one so i want cap to overlap no i want iron man to overlap cap <laughs> sorry if i'm confusing you and up here you're gonna see reference layer it's the same for moho 11 as well i think I don't know about Moho 13, but in Moho 12, you come over here to reference layer, and you're going to click on the reference layer. Now, basically what a reference layer does is it just, it creates a new layer that just does exactly what the original one does. So, Iron Man uh, IW2 is just going to duplicate everything that Iron Man IW does, right? So, say if I move, well, let me hide Iron Man IW. If I hide that, you can see that Iron Man's still showing because it's the Iron Man IW2 layer. And basically, if I'm on the Iron Man IW layer, and I come over here to manip manipulate bones, and I move it, it's going to move the IW2 layer as well. So that's all it does, is it just basically duplicates it. It duplicates everything too, so if you're changing a switch layer in IW, 
uh, it's going to change the switch layer in IW2 or whatever it is for your character. So if you want to make it overlap, what you're going to want to do is put the IW2 layer or whatever your layer is called, put that above the layer you want to overlap. So I want him to overlap Cap, I'm going to put him above Captain America. And you can see now that his arm is above him, but the thing about that is everything is actually going to be above him. So, oh, I actually moved the wrong layer there. Control Z to undo. I'm going to I'm going to just move. Well, tr try not to move the IW2 layer. You might do that by accident. Only move the original layer, not the reference one. Because the original layer actually moves the reference as well. But yeah, the thing about this is that it overlaps everything. I don't want his leg to overlap Cap. I only want his arm to overlap Cap, right? So, basically what you're going to want to do is come into the animation, open the IW2 layer, or whatever your reference layer is called, and you can just go ahead and hide. Actually, let me check something real quick. Uh, it doesn't work like that. Alright, so basically, uh, wherever you are in the animation, uh, you're going to want to come over here and say I want his, I only want his arm to be overlapping Captain America. So basically what you're going to want to do is hide everything except his arm, except his back arm for me. So come over here to front hands. And I actually have all of these in folders. If you didn't watch episode 6, you probably missed this. But I put all of my layers in folders. It's pretty much the same. If you didn't do that, you would just hide the uh, the images you have for your character. But I have them all in folders. So I'm going to hide the folders. But it's pretty much the same thing. So I want to hide everything except the back hand or back arm. So come over to hands, double click it, and actually you're going to want to put on animated layer effects for all of these as well. So click, well check mark animated layer effects, and then you're going to check mark visible to hide it. And you're going to want to basically do that for everything, except the parts that you want to overlap them. So I'm going to just speed this up for you guys. It's basically to just copy and repeat animated layer effects visible. Do that for everything except the parts that you want to not be overlapping. Well, except for the parts that you want to be overlapping. And this is the last one yeah alright so now you can see everything is hidden except his front uh, arm front forearm well back arm back forearm and back hand so you can see his leg looks like it's still under Captain America while his arm looks like it's over Captain America so you can move it around you can see his legs behind him his arms in front of him and actually that looks weird you can also hide the forearm in my case, well, no, not the forearm, the the bicep or the arm, because it's it looks like it's overlapping uh, his body, and I don't want that. So you can just go ahead and hide the arm, the back arm, animated layer effects visible. So I think that looks good now. Yeah. So if you want to move it again, go go to the original layer the original Iron Man layer in my case and you can move it around and his front arm is above cap while his uh, back leg is behind him and everything else would be would be behind him as well so if I move him around only his front forearm and hand are above him and that's pretty much what you would do throughout the animation so let's say right here on frame 18 I actually want his leg 
to be above Captain America. So you would come over to the back leg or whatever body part you want to be above them. Double click on it and actually click visible to show it again. And I'm going to do this one too. And I'm actually going to do the hips just so it looks like it looks better. Not the body, the hips. And yeah, on frame 18, you can see now his arm, his back leg just pops above Captain America. And that's basically what you would do for everybody. Every time you want someone, someone specific body part to overlap another character. And let me just do that again. Let me say right here on frame. What frame is this? On frame 30, come over here to Captain America, move his arm like right here per se, and let's say I want his hand to be behind Cap again. So you can just go ahead and hide these back hand layers in the reference layer. So visible, check that off, back forearm, uncheck visible. And now his uh, his arms behind Cap. Again, if you want to move the um, the layer, do it on the original, not the reference. I know that can be kind of confusing, but yeah, now his arms behind Captain America. So it starts off with his fort, his front arm. <laughs> I I'm, I'm tripping today. It starts off with his back arm above Cap and his back leg behind Cap. Then his back leg pops in front of Cap right here. And then his back arm pops behind Cap. And you would basically do the same thing for Captain America. If you want, let's say, you want Cap's arm to be above uh, Iron Man's leg. So let's actually move Iron Man's leg a little bit. Let's move it like right there. And let's say on frame 36, I'm going to come to Captain America. I'm going to... Uh, close that come to Captain America and his arm is actually behind his leg let's say I don't want that so basically what you would do on the Captain America layer create I think I actually accidentally did that create a reference layer make sure you click the right one create a reference layer I'm gonna drag that above Iron Man 2 or the Iron Man reference layer and that actually makes everybody part go above him, but I only want his arm to be above him. So you're going to want to hide everything except except the front arm and the front hand. So I'm going to keep these visible. So on head, I'm going to click allow animated layer effects visible. Just to hide them and do that for everything until you get exactly what you want. I'm going to speed this part up too. And the back forearm. And there. Now everything is in place. You can see Iron Man's arm is behind Captain America while I Captain America's front arm is in front of uh, Iron Man's leg. It's, it's just all jumbled up. But yeah, that's basically how you would do it. Again, if you want to move your character layer, do it on the original. Don't do it on the reference layer. Or it can get kind of messed up. But yeah, his Captain America's front arm is above Cap Iron Man's back leg. While, his, while Iron Man's back leg is above every other Captain America part. It can get a little bit confusing, but hopefully I explained it well. That's basically how you would do that. Uh, I've, I've been getting a, uh, a couple of questions about how to do that. Actually, only ninth level gaming asked me about that. And it is an interesting thing. I, I'd never really thought about teaching it. I should teach you guys a lot more. When I get my new PC, which actually should be around uh, July 31st or August 1st, I'm actually going to try to do more character creation tutorials 
not character creation tutorials, no, uh, animation tutorials. I'm gonna try and do more and teach you guys a little bit more of uh, a little bit more animation tips. But hopefully you guys understand. If you didn't, let me know in the comments. I do answer questions about these, so if you have one, let me know. But hopefully you understood it. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. The next one might be a fight tutorial. So, yeah, look out for that.